you, you don't have nothing to do? No. Well, you're going to need like 15 minutes to open a bottle of wine, so. I resent this. <laughs> no. You're, you're 14. Very, you're good. You're 14 very good. minutes. You're very good. Welcome to our casa, and today we're making Pesce Spada Gratinato. But before we get started, please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and ring the bell for notifications on future videos. Pesce Spada. So you've got Pesce, fish, and Spada, sword. What are we at? A swordfish. Gratinato is a breadcrumb layering and we're going to add some grimulata style like parsley and some lemon zest and garlic. It's going to be good. We're going to pan roast it. So a little searing on top of the stove and then into the broiler just for a few minutes. Not going to take very long. There's not a lot of fat on swordfish so it can become very dry if you cook it too long. We're going to accompany our beautiful swordfish with some Patate, potato. Use a mandolin with these guys so they're really, really nice and thin. The mandolin, a beautiful invention that I am terrible at using. So, may I have some help, please? Help coming. Did you call the agency for a potato peeler? Do you have uh, qualifications in peeling and mandolin skills? Yep, peeling and mandolining. Once our potatoes are thinly sliced, they go into a bowl of ice water and we're gonna let them soak for about 20 minutes. This removes a lot of the starch. Let's make the topping for our fish. We're gonna do a little combo of some parsley and lemon zest, so let's get that started. And some other goodies. <laughs> so I'm gonna use my little food chopper here. I'm gonna add one clove of garlic. Nice handful of the fresh leaves. Once we have our parsley, our parsley leaves picked, we're going to add the zest of a lemon. Wrong way. <laughs> now you can add as much as you like as of uh, pepperoncino, red pepper flakes. If you like it a little spicier, add more. I'm gonna add 3 fourths cup of nice quality breadcrumbs. Add a pinch of salt and olive oil. Here we go. Blend. Okay, we're looking for a nice kind of sand. Not too wet though. Um, it's gonna be a great crumble that we're gonna put on top of the fish. After our potatoes are done soaking, now we need to dry them. We don't want them to be super wet. So we're just gonna get a little bit of that excess off there. Put them on a paper towel. Now cover and press. On a baking sheet, we're gonna create a beautiful environment for our sliced dry potatoes. And we're gonna start with some butter. Just take your butter, get it all over that bottom of the pan so they don't stick. And also some olive oil for that nice flavor. Then we're gonna add our potatoes and we are gonna layer them, but first we're gonna add some of that beautiful gratinata, natto. And some more olive oil on top. And use your hands. Massage them, make sure they all get coated. Start to layer them, and they can overlap a little bit. Let's preheat our oven to 400 degrees. Ciao. After 20 minutes, your potatoes are done. Woo. So the potatoes are in the oven. It's hot in here. I think I need a refreshment, please. The wine we're drinking today, So since the dish this wonderful lady is cooking today, screams Mare, Sea, Sicily, Campania, Napoli, we are going to drink Ischia Bianco. Isn't that an island? 
Ischia is an island, is part of the Flegrean Islands, the Isole Flegre, which is actually Ischia is the biggest of four islands called Ischia. Then we have Procida, Vivara and Nisida. We are located in Paradise on Earth, one of the most beautiful place in the whole planet. It's a great tourist destination. These four islands are just breathtaking. If you can, go visit. This island has been knowing wine since 700 before Christ. It used to be called Enaria, which means the land of vines. It's a very uh, interesting wine because this is one of the first DOC in the world of Italian white wine. It's dated back 1960s. The grape varietal that make this uh, uh, type of wine are Biancolella and Forestera. On the specific case of the producer we are drinking today, Casa d'Ambra, we're drinking Casa d'Ambra Ischia Bianco 2019, the Biancolella and Forastera are blend 50-50. So we are super excited to try this wine. I don't think I ever tried an Ischia Bianco and let's open it. Yes! Yeah. Ischia. Where the words? Cheers. Cheers. Dry, light, summery. Mmm. This is super good. This is a beach wine. Mmm. Amazing. That's a fancy. Thank you, Ischia. We can't wait to come back. Come back? We never been there. No. <laughs> Time to take care of the swordfish. First things first, let's season our fish just with a little bit of salt and some cracked black pepper. In a cast iron pan, it's perfect to cook this in, but really any pan that you can put in the oven. So we're gonna start, we have a little bit of canola oil, and we're also gonna mix a little bit of olive oil in there as well to give it that nice flavor. All right, let's turn on that heat. Swordfish in. And we're just gonna let that sear for about a minute. After another minute or two, we're gonna flip it again. Now turn off your flame. Now we're gonna put that beautiful breadcrumb, parsley topping right on top. And now we put our swordfish into the oven at 400 degrees. Super, super moist inside. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna start with it. Oh my God. Incredible. Mm. It's a fantastic piece of fish. It mm. is. Mm. Well, please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and ring the bell for notifications on future videos. Keep eating good food. Keep drinking good wine. Thank you. Loving, Loving each, each other. other.